Hello again everyone, it's Matt from Mark Roberts Motion Control. In this Flare 7 tutorial, I will show you the dynamic features of the graph view and its relation to other components in the main window. Here is a move of three waypoints created with target tracking enabled. As you create a move, the axis curves will update automatically and Flare will inform you of any exceeded limits. There's a handy shortcut to toggle a main window frame to full screen and by default it is the F11 button. The graph view control bar is shown at the top. The leftmost drop-down box lets you select what to display, the physical axes, Cartesian axes, or the speed profiling curves. We will cover speed profiling in another video in this series. If you click on an axis curve, it will hide all others from view and is useful for prolonged or complicated moves. Hovering your mouse over the curve will show the axis name, frame number, and position of the axis at that frame. The position, velocity and acceleration curves can be toggled on and off with the next three buttons on the control bar. If I were to increase the move speed, we see the velocity curve changing shape to reflect the speed increase. In this case, there is a move limit signified by the red limit button and clicking it will show the axes that have exceeded limits. Zooming in and out is controlled with the mouse wheel or by using the buttons in the bottom right corner, one of which resets the zoom level altogether. As with entering a move, the best way to achieve the shape you want is to modify the existing waypoints and not to add lots of points. If you would like to add or remove waypoints, these four buttons will enable us to do that. To edit the existing points, I do so with the next set of arrow buttons. For example, if I would like to adjust the frame number of this waypoint, I click the horizontal arrow button and then drag the waypoint to the desired position. You can also adjust waypoint fairings directly from the graph view. Checking the box next to fairings will bring up arrows at each waypoint. You can drag these up or down to adjust the fairing percentage. Because this is a target tracking move, we'll switch over to the Cartesian axis and adjust the fairings from there. Setting a 0% fairing for the X camera access on either side of the move will introduce a pre-roll and post-roll condition. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.